A recent CDC survey estimates one out of every 13 American adults has, quote, long COVID, meaning they have symptoms three or more months after first contracting the virus. Now, long COVID can be debilitating for many people, and now some are turning to a new medical treatment plan. Yeah, it's not yet approved by the FDA, but doctors say it's showing promising signs. ABC 13's Pooja Lodia has more on oxygen therapy and if it's the right choice for you. All right, you have a wonderful dive. If you need anything, let me know, okay? Okay, I will. And just like that, Amanda Ballinger dives in. She'll spend the next 90 minutes in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber where she'll be breathing in pure oxygen in a pressurized space. Imagine oxygen being pushed into places that need it the most. But honestly, I was so desperate. If you had told me to, you know, like, take ayahuasca, I probably would have sought that out. Yeah. Amanda believes she got COVID in December of 2021. It was mild, but three months later, she was exhausted and weak, unable to even feed herself. I can't even explain how bad it was. It was horrific. I would kind of climb myself, claw myself out of the, you know, the, the sofa and to the, the car to make doctor's appointments, but I wasn't able to even drive myself. It was really hard on both of my boys um, to see their mom like that. Amanda says doctors told her she had long haul COVID, but because the diagnosis is so new, they didn't have many treatments to offer. So Amanda did exactly what you were not supposed to do. That's when I got a little desperate and started doing Dr. Google, which I know my doctor is probably like, don't do that. She found a study online about hyperbaric oxygen therapy being used to treat long COVID. And when she called the Houston Hyperbaric Oxygen Center, she met Dr. Allison Boyle, a neurologist. So I'm very opposed to hokey medicine and I'm a pretty big skeptic. So um, I've seen the results for wound care. I mean, everybody has. You get, you get oxygen delivered to that tissue at risk, it heals it. We know that's what happens. But for these other things, I mean, we've just seen some amazing cases. Dr. Boyle and her husband bought the Houston Hyperbaric Oxygen Center in October 2020. At first, they mostly treated burns and wounds, which are FDA approved treatments. But nowadays, about a quarter of their patients are coming in for long haul COVID treatment, a purpose that isn't FDA approved, though there are several clinical trials underway. Oxygen therapy for long COVID is also not covered by insurance. So each session will cost you $180 to $295. If you need, say, 40 sessions, that'll be around $8,000. It's not for everybody, and there are some uh, ins and outs that we have to look out for. But at the, main, at the end of the day, it's not harmful, and if it could potentially get you back to your normal life, I think it's definitely worth looking into. Amanda has just finished her 40 sessions. She says she started feeling results on her 25th dive and she is still improving. Today, she says she's about 90% of her old self. Sometimes I still have brain fog. Sometimes I still get fatigued, but it's exponentially better than it was earlier in the year. It's really awesome to see this huge bubbly personality out of someone that did not have that when they first walked in. Wow, so that big of a change. Yes. Yeah, she's probably our happiest, most cheery patient too. So she makes her days really fun. <laughs>